What's up everybody, Rob here with Arcadia Everything, here to do an unboxing of our Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon Series printers. We don't have just one to unbox today, but we have one, two, three, four, five to do. We're not going to do them all because that would bore you, but we are going to unbox the one and go through it, show you what it's all about. Uh, we have currently 10 in our printing farm and we hope to get up to about 30. And no, Bamboo Labs does not give you discounts on bulk orders, so Bamboo Labs, if you're listening, maybe we can work something out in the future because we will be buying more of these. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, you got to get your razor blade because you don't know where it's at. <laughs> Always when you get these things, make sure that you inspect the box for any damage. Uh, take pictures of it as well, so if you open it up and it is damaged, you can contact your uh, shipping department or Bamboo Labs. But yeah, first things first, we're going to cut it open. We do have a little damage on this box, so we're going to check it out and make sure everything is hunky-dory. There's going to be a lot of plastic, a lot of foam but these things are packed very well. So you shouldn't really have any issues with shipping. First thing I'm gonna do after I take the, uh, the side foam off is get these weird looking things out of here. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Okay, and what I've done for the past is really, it's probably not the safest thing, but I actually just grab this plastic and pull it on up. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna get, get on the table here. We'll pop this sucker out of here. Probably not recommended, but you know, do what you gotta do. Ta -da! Now this box does come with a bunch of different accessories. This is the uh, Bamboo Labs that comes with the AMS sensor, so it's a bundle. It also comes with a little bit of filament, uh, as well as on the inside it has our package with all of our monitor and our tools. And it uh, looks like they're now sending a little LED lamp kit with this one. So we'll see what that's all about here in a little bit. Just to point out what kind of filament it came with, it does have support for PLA, just used for supporting PLA prints. It has some PLA carbon fiber, and it also has PLA basic in green. So we'll get to those in a little bit. Okay, most of the stuff you're gonna find in this kit is on the inside, so don't be afraid if you didn't think your AMS sensor came with it. It will be all packaged inside of it. These Bamboo Labs are built with a welded frame, and they do have quite a bit of glass on them, so again, be cautious. I'm not sure exactly what material the outside is, but I do know that uh, they are very prone to what looks like scratches. You can see my nail put a little bit of a mark on it, but most of them rub off. You shouldn't have any problem with that. We're gonna go ahead and pop this out of the plastic. As you see, there's no screen on it yet, and there's a bunch of this lovely thread tape, which is just the best to take off. If you get one of these, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. They are pretty sticky and pretty hairy. Okay guys, there is a trick to taking off this plastic off the front glass. You're gonna pop this little adhesive away and you're just gonna work it with the door kind of 90 degrees. You're gonna kind of work it out and pull it through. You see on this other side, I'm able to grab it and slide it off like that. That's the easiest way I've found to do it. Okay, now once you are in here, up on top, we have our main box. This box is gonna have your tools to pull out the AMS as well as unlock the bed. It is also going to have, a little different on the way they did it this time. It's also gonna have the monitor in here as well. So there you have it, you have the screen. They do give you a little goodie bag with extra grease for your screw leads, different set screws, filament clean off, Yep, and some, some more grease on the back side there. There's your monitor. Go ahead and set that aside. Now here's the tool. This is the main tool you're gonna need. It's a small Allen wrench. And there is another one that I have yet to use, but that is there, I'm sure it's for adjusting something. But first things first, out of this box, right away, this AMS sensor is held in by plastic. So these two red arrows here are gonna indicate to you that you need to remove these. Now don't get too excited and get ready to plug this thing in right away because there's a couple things we need to do before we turn it on. So right after that, I've got more foam. I'm gonna be careful with this to not knock anything. Just gonna kind of pull this out of here. 
Set that aside. Grab this little foam piece. Okay, with those two screws loose, we should be able to just slide the MS sensor up. A little bit of a snag. And there's that. Now, if you guys are gonna be printing in multiple colors or kind of being in production, these things are amazing. They take a lot of load off of me, uh, just being able to print at night, all night long, because if you do run out, you can automatically set it to switch to another filament. It's an amazing product. It communicates with the printer. There's hardly anything you have to do, very low maintenance. And uh, we'll show you hooking that up here in a minute. Now in this position, the next thing to do, you do have a couple other foam pieces, cardboard pieces, and I just take off with the head. Be careful of that plastic. Okay, next thing, we gotta take this plastic off. There's again, marks. There's four marks, little arrows to take this plastic off that held the AMS sensor. Okay, once you got those four screws undone, we're gonna lift this up, kind of tilt it, pull it out of the way. It does look like the uh, Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon, they have upgraded and given us the textured plate. It is a textured plate for PLA, ABS, PETG, and it is an amazing product. The filament sticks to it really well and pops off also when it's cool extremely well, and it gives a nice texture. It kind of hides all the, the initial lines off the first, the first layer. Super cool upgrade. I'm excited to see that. Okay, we got more foam. Now this foam under here, you do wait to take off until you plug it in. You know, we're going to pull this out here. Then we're going to come over here to the what we call the poop chute, but it's the little filament uh, disposal thingy ma bob, but it's great. It does it does kind of leave a little extra filament, and I'm not sure if we can turn that off or not, but it's nice to clean the filament off. But pretty much after that, uh, we're going to get ready to power this thing up. But before we do, we have three more screws we have to take off. These are very important to take off if we get in here and look at these. You do not want to forget those before you turn this printer on. It will give you a warning though when you plug it in to make sure you have done that. As you can see there, yep. Again, little red arrows. I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. Now the build volume on this Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon is 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches, or 256 millimeters by 256 by 256, which is great for production. You know, I do a full sheet of uh, our products on this, and it typically takes about eight to nine hours, which these things are wicked fast. Uh, like a typical 3D printer that I've seen in the past that I've used, this takes four times less to print the same, if not better quality product off these printers. And these printers are amazing for ABS because of the small build volume and it being enclosed with glass top, it really holds the heat and really allows your prints to come off very nice. So yeah, after that, we are gonna go and hook up the screen. It's fairly simple. You just wanna be careful when you're pushing this ribbon cable back in that you don't pinch it. But you can see here we do have a spot for it to plug in. We're gonna orient it like so. We're gonna go ahead and clip it into its mating spot. Here, a little click right there. And this is what I was talking about. You can see the little slide pegs there. We're gonna just kinda guide that in a little bit. Push in and push to the left, and the screen's ready to go. Again, just, just for precautionary measures, we're going to look around, make sure there's nothing we forgot, no tape. Uh, you can slide this around just to confirm. And yes, we did have one piece of tape we forgot, and this is your filter. So we're gonna pull that out right now, just so we don't have to go back later. Okay, next step is plug it in. Uh, we are going to go through this real quick. Just a little goodie bags that it comes with. It comes with a spare 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Again, we talked about it, the lube bag, a couple little accessories in that. It does also come with a nozzle cleaning, a tip cleaner, which is very great for jams. There's that other Allen key. It does come if you do not have the AMS or you don't want to use it. It also comes with a filament holder that will screw on the back, but we are going to skip out on this. We're just going to use the AMS. Your AMS connection cables for the rear, which we will go over and power cable, which is what we want. There's also a little instruction bag, but you know, no one looks at instructions, right? That's why you're watching this video. <laughs> All right, on the back side, it's super simple. Just like your standard computer power plug. I'm gonna put that in. I do make sure it's off before I plug it in, just so there's no sparks. Little, little safety plug there. Plug it in, and then on the back, we're gonna pop it on. Now, obviously you should have the screen put in already, and then it will run through some prompts. And while it's loading up, we're gonna pull out our upper glass. It's kind of the same thing as the front door. 
Super nice. I love that it's glass. It's, it feels much more robust than a plastic. That's going to go on there. Now, there's a lot of prints that you can do that you can print that people have made where that'll prop this open. If you're using PLA, you know, plastics that don't like the heat, you definitely want to make sure this is cracked, take it off all the way. And actually make some amazing prints that actually will set the AMS sensor up higher so you can actually remove this and still use the AMS on top, which uh, you should definitely check out if you're running PLA. We do all ABS at the moment, so we'd love having this closed. Works just fine. Uh, and right now, if you want to come up to the screen, it is going to prompt us through. Now, we're going to bloop some things out just so you guys don't know where we live and stuff, but North America, it's going to ask you for your country of origin. It's going to want us to connect a network. We're going to do that right quick. Okay, as you see, we are connected to our network, Arcadia. This does have LAN capability as well, so you can actually communicate within your network and not run through the cloud, which if you're doing uh, certain things that you do not want to be in the cloud, you can do that. We're going to press next. And here's where you're going to log in. I have my own login on my phone. You will scan this code and it will add it to your entourage of printers. So you do want to download the Bamboo Lab app, which it is called Bamboo Handy. So you download that app, you log in, and we are going to, if you guys want to check it out, we're going to go to our devices. Up here in the top, we're going to add the device. Click that. And then it's going to prompt us to scan the code. So we're just going to come over here, scan it. Here's our username, and we're going to confirm to bind. This app is great if you want to monitor, like say this is not at your home or you're out to work. You can monitor your prints from home. You can tell it to stop or start. Uh, via its internal camera. It's a great feature. It tells you it tells you the temperature, tells you what it's doing, if it's printing something, if it's in idle. You can see right now the device is in idle. You can also watch the time lapses from this thing. Uh, but for now, we're pretty much going to set this aside and continue the unboxing. So from here, we're going to press next. Um, fortunately, we've got to agree to the terms and conditions. And on this, we're going to say skip. You can, you can uh, help out with that stuff if you would like, but we are not going to. And again, right now it's going to tell you to make sure that those screws are not in place. So we sell the foam in, and the foam is in here. We're going to press next, and then it's going to jog vertically. As it's doing this, we're going to go ahead and pull the, the foam out swiftly. And we'll set that aside. Now it's going to calibrate for a couple minutes. And before it does so, we're going to stick our magnetically Attach the face to it. The biggest thing on your plate is you want to make sure it's not up on these ledges here. So always come back here and feel with your hand, make sure that it is flat and not riding up on that lip. Okay. While that thing is calibrating, we're going to kind of take our plastic off our AMS. I'll tell you what, this thing is just amazing. This, this AMS thing is like no other. As I was saying before, that gives you the ability to have. Up to 16, actually, 16 different colored prints. You can actually hook more than one of these to your printer. Have them all tied in and just go wild with all your different colors. We do really just run one or two colors on these things. And there's a, also another feature where if you had the same filament, you can go into your settings, load this up with same filament, and tell it to switch over to another filament when it's done or when it runs out. So when you're not there, it'll switch over for you automatically and continue printing. So when you come back to it, your print's done and you're not waiting on it. We do want to talk about up in here, these little tabs, pull these tabs off, some more packaging. Inside of here are little, uh, I guess you could call them dehydrator packages. And you want to make sure that you actually take them out of the plastic. They are plastic sealed so that they don't collect moisture. We'll go ahead and stick those back in. Lovely little jig that it does. <laughs> Don't worry, that's normal, people. This, this unit has so many features. It also has LiDAR, micro LiDAR, and it will actually scan the first layer to make sure everything's adhered. It also has an amazing feature called sp spaghetti detection, which we have yet to see happen, but it will actually stop the print if it recognizes on the camera that there has been basically a mess up on your print. They call it, they call it spaghetti in the printing, the printing land. Printing land? Yeah, printing land printer people. <laughs> Printing community. Okay, with that said and done, actually, what I like to do before uh, I set this up is I actually stick a couple more packages of that uh, silicon bead stuff in these things just for an added protection. But really, 
we're all done on the inside. We were gonna go ahead and set this up on top. Now, if you come around the back side, we'll show you all the connections here. So on the back, here's one of the cooling fans. This is actually right behind your filter. You do have the little poop chute, the little filament extractor, which every time it switches filament, it'll actually uh, give you a little, a little, you know, something out the back. And they do make prints for these. I've made a custom print that actually will take and carry those little squigglies out the side so you can just evacuate them. Otherwise, you'll just poop them out back here and it'll make a big mess. But in our packet, we have two different cables. One is just to communicate with the printer and one is for the AMS. So this long one here with the two straights, we're gonna hook up here. You can see that they can communicate between each other as well. We have that second cable. I always hook this one up right here. It's got the four little pegs and it comes around up under here, just like that. And then we have our filament tube, which this is gonna swing around right into here. It's just a push click. And actually, if you guys look up online, these don't really come out on their own. You do have to have a special tool, but there is, uh, there is actually print files for a tool to extract this if you need to replace it. And it does come with spare tubes, which is nice. So that's pretty much it on the AMS. You'll start seeing lights blink up here. It tells you that everything's going well. And we're just gonna let it run through its, its thingy, thingy my bobber. And we're back. We have done the, ca the calibration. We also, when this thing was done calibrating, we had a firmware update that was located here in the settings. We just went to the network or the general and updated that. And we're ready to go. We actually are gonna do our little sample and print this little LED kit that came with it. So we're actually gonna take our green PLA basic that came with the printer. We opened up our AMS. And this thing's super simple. All you gotta do is just poke this in. It's actually gonna grab it on its own, feed it through. And it will scan the code inside the roll and recognize what filament it is. Okay. So if we go over here to settings, right here, we can go over to filament. Right here is our AMS loadout. And look at that, it recognized green PLA is in there, ready to print. And now we did go ahead and download our little lamp. So we're just gonna go ahead and click that, it's PLA. We're gonna do a little time lapse for you guys and keep all these checked. So bed leveling, full calibration, and time lapse, we're just gonna go ahead and print now. Okay, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Bing bong. We got this print going. It's originally was gonna take about five hours. We can't sit around and wait for that, so we actually put it in hyper mode. It's actually called ludicrous mode. You can see it going right now. When you're impatient, we're gonna see how this thing turns out and uh, you'll get a hyperlapse of the whole thing. Just a little bit of specifications on this printer. Again, like we said, it has a 10 by 10 by 10 build volume. That's in inches. The chassis is steel, welded steel. The shell is aluminum and glass. It does have an all metal hot end. Now there is a bunch of different build plates that this thing can have. There is your standard cool plate, which is for PLA and materials that do not need that heated bed. There's also the high temperature plate, as well as what it comes with, the textured PEI plate, which is an amazing product. I'm glad that they upgraded that from the smooth plate. Now this thing on the, on the filament, it supports PLA, PETG, TPU, ABS, ASA, PET, PA, and polycarbonate, PC. And we were talking about the spaghetti detection on this Bamboo Labs, and just to give you an extreme case, we had one of our raised 3D printers create this beauty. Check that out. This is what a spaghetti protection would prevent. Now this, extru this extruder is pretty much shot. Unless I were to melt all this plastic off, it is in there. So another great feature of the Bamboo Labs is spaghetti detection, prevent you replacing a $35 hot end. Wow, wow. <laughs> and the conclusion is ludicrous mode is absolutely insane. So it's been going for about an hour now. Look at the quality of that thing. And this is on its most quick, speediest print. But we want it now. We can't wait around in this world anymore. We got our little, Light kit, we're ready for it. Now this is printing in PLA and it is the green that comes with this. So for this case, we're gonna keep the door open because it does need to kind of cool off. We don't want it to overheat too much. Uh, if you do, sometimes uh, the heat bed on the bottom, it'll actually warp the first couple layers. But it's doing good. It's going fast. We'll be done in a couple hours. Just a little recap for you guys. Ludicrous.